is up Ghoulie gang? My name is Ghoulie and welcome back to the season two first episode of Ghoulie TV. Today we are at a place known as Dogface Bridge. As you guys can see behind me, there's a gate right here that leads to the bridge. And unfortunately, there is a crap ton of weeds that we have to walk through just to get to this bridge. Um, we're gonna try to carry what we can with us and take it back where the, uh, the bridge is. But there's a lot of different stories about this bridge. One main one that I heard was, was about a married couple that used to drive down this road. Apparently they were on their honeymoon, they went to drive over this bridge, a dog ran out in front of them and they crashed their car, causing fatalities. Um, apparently the dog lost its head and so did the wife. So the wife and the, the dog both lost their heads and apparently they can never find the woman's body. People have been saying that back here in these woods, they've been seeing a lady with a dog face or a dog head. And it, apparently if you see it, it has like red eyes and it'll try to chase you out of the woods or away from the bridge. We don't know if that's true. We don't know anything else really about this bridge. All I know is that it was like built in the 1950s or 1960s and now it's closed as you guys can see. Yeah, we're gonna take the drone up a little bit and we're gonna see what's around us and uh, we're gonna walk back there and see if the bridge is still standing. Like there, there's stuff online showing this bridge has been taken down and no longer there, but we're gonna find out today if the bridge is still standing and we're gonna see if it's truly haunted. I'm saying this used to be a road. Are you recording? Yeah, this used to be a road back in the 1950s. It's uh, blocked off now, but we're heading back towards the bridge now. We're gonna see if we can find it. Uh, we got about a mile walk, so, and I gotta carry the drone with us. I don't wanna leave it in the car for one, for two. Might be able to get some aerial imaging before the sun goes down, which we probably have like a good half an hour, 45 minutes. So we'll try to get back there as quick as we can. All right. Let's just hope that there is something back here. I mean, they said that their bridge was, some people what, reported that it was down or taken out. And they have a little, they have a little barrier keeping yeah, you from being the, able to. Uh, online, someone said that the uh, bridge was taken down. The only thing that was left is the uh, cement slabs where the bridge used to be. So we're going back here to see if the bridge is still here. Um, as you guys can see, there's a lot of weeds and they're really long. So if you come out here, make sure you guys bring some paint. Oh, I just saw something new. The freaking grass. You see, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Literally, there's fields all around us. The closest house is down the street. There's nothing back here besides this bridge, if it's even here. But we drove an hour and 20 minutes here, so. Drove an hour and 20 minutes to get here. So regardless, I'm walking down this path because I didn't drive an hour and 20 minutes for no reason. And yeah, doing it for you guys. So hopefully this video comes out okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I hope we catch something. Or at least uh, some sort of paranormal activity out here. state and or the people don't upkeep the area. This is what it would look like pretty much everywhere. I'm trying not to get poked in the eye by all these weeds. Yeah, it's starting to get really bad. Yeah, I do have my device. I have my uh, EMF detector in here. That's why I'm carrying the drone case as well. I have the new uh, REM pod uh, EMF detector in here. What about your ghost box? Um, I have my ghost box on me as well. My spirit box is in my pocket. Box. 
but whatever pocket I put it in. Yeah, it's this one right here. Alright, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, we're getting uh, pretty close to it. You can see we're sweating. It's a pretty big uh, workout walking through those tall weeds. Uh, you got a lot of animals and bugs all around you when you come out here. So make sure you bring some bug spray. We didn't do that because uh, we're the ghoulie gang. <laughs> Who needs bug spray? <laughs> so definitely an area for all sorts of animals to lay down and cool off. Oh, shit. I see it. You see it? Probably another reason why they decided not to keep this road active. Too many problems. Careful. Uh -huh. Be careful. And this is the bridge. Apparently it still stands. So, yeah. There's mosquitoes like crazy out right now. And they're just munching on us because we're sweating our butts off. Yes, they are. Um, but let's check it, check it out a little bit. Uh, gotta be careful though because this is an old bridge and I don't want to fall through and I don't want to get hurt so gonna see what we can see up here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's an open so Step slowly then. So you don't fall through. I think we're okay. Wasn't there pipe somewhere? I think it's on the other side. Okay. Jesus. And this is it. Dog face bridge. Out in the middle of nowhere, literally. Oh, the things I do for you guys. <laughs> I was joking. Oh man, it's a long walk. It took us what, like 20 minutes to walk that? Yeah. What time is it? We got about 45 minutes till the sun sets. I'm not gonna fly the drone here just because I feel like it's not a safe place for a drone to be flying. Uh, I just don't wanna. Yeah. I don't want to risk it, so. All right, so we've been told this place is actually really haunted, so we're not really too sure. We've never been here. Like I said, we drove an hour and 20 minutes to get here, and uh, I'm here to find out, see if it's haunted at all. So we're gonna investigate a little bit before the sun goes down. We're gonna try to head back towards the car like as soon as the sun's setting. So we got about 45 minutes to investigate, if that. But all these mosquitoes literally crawling all over us. I can see them just crawling on Kevin right now. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I'm getting ate up. Yeah, it's pretty bad out here. I mean, birds aren't too bad, I guess, but. Whoa, you hear that frog? Yeah. Definitely frogs out here, boys and girls. Is there anyone here right now with us on Dogface Bridge? Can you say hello? Can you say hi? Is there anyone here? Can you say your name? Can you say hello? Don't be afraid to talk to us. We're not here to hurt you. Come forward. Any spirits that are here right now, if this place is haunted or has some sort of presence, come forward and say hello to us on the spirit box. Come right up to me and touch this box and say hello. Can please say something? I couldn't hear what you just said. You said something. Can you can you say it again? Good play. Good play flying over, guys. Gotta speak louder so we can hear you. All right. Does anybody hear? Please say something. 
in the spare box that I'm holding. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to talk to you. Did anybody die here on this bridge? I'm getting ate up. Oh my god, I need my other hand free. Ooh, my back, my back is itching. Yeah, you got like 20 mosquitoes all over uh, you. I probably got like 20 mosquitoes on me too. It's best off like literally like 10 to 20 mosquitoes <laughs> off his back. God dang, I was starting to itch. I was wondering why. All right, 76 degrees outside right now. Or we're standing on this bridge. You turn the rim on. As you guys can see, we have this. So if we get something, touch it. If something touches this, it'll set it off. I, I swear we, I could have sworn we heard a couple of voices, but they're so faint, it's really hard to pick out what they're saying. This is not very loud either, so, I mean, right now, I don't know, maybe I just have to buy another speaker. Maybe the speaker's just too low. Um, this is high and as loud as it gets. What the heck? What did you say? Oh, did you see that? That, that literally just went off by itself. Can you do that for me? I heard you talk when you were touching it. Come on, I know you I know you can do it. You just did it a second ago. I wasn't even touching it. And it was pointing in a different direction. Are you still here? If you are, please touch the device in my hand. God, these bugs are really bad right now, guys. Oh, I got a see the middle gas? It just went up a little bit. I don't know if you saw that or not. Come on, you can do it. I just I think I just saw you in front of it. You know what, I'm just gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna turn the spirit box off. I feel like you're not really speaking to us. I could have sworn when you were talking on the spirit box, we had something on here, on the rim, slash uh, mill meter. So if you're here, do me a favor and touch the, uh, touch the rim pod again. Touch the antenna on this device and it'll set it off. You can set it off. Very, very bad spot to be, especially when it's humid because the water is, it's a like mosquito infestation around here for sure. They're they are really bad right here. There's a 0 .4, 0 .4 milligas on the uh, the millimeter. Kind of missed it. Uh -huh. There's a 0 .4. If you're here, touch the device again. I have the other device in my pocket and I'm walking around. If you can follow us to right here. Uh, there's a 0 .4. There's something around here. It's we're getting an EMF detected energy right now. We're getting EMF detections uh, on this bridge. Don't see any electricity around us. The only thing we have is a camera and what's in our pockets, but we're not setting this off. Do us a favor and touch it. It's right there on the edge. So far we're not really getting anything on the, the meter. I'm gonna move it. I'll move it to a different spot and see if there's a different location where most of the energy is coming from. Can put it down. Let's see if it goes off. If anyone's here, touch the uh, touch the mill meter, set it off. We're literally out in the middle of nowhere and I have the spirit box and everything. You know, I've tried to uh, try to get some answers on the spirit box. Pretty much nothing at all. Like we have no connection to like the radio out here, and we're still getting voices that were coming through. Um, not really sure what they were saying. Can't really make it out because it is kind of low. I might have to get a new uh, speaker since this one's not super loud or anything. We've had a little bit of action on the mel meter. Not really sure 100% if it's paranormal, but uh, we did get a voice when we got that uh, first bit of activity on the ml meter so kind of putting two and two together not really sure how haunted this place is if it is even haunted all i can say is the only thing i'm really scared of right now is all the mosquito bites we're getting we're gonna be itching for days <laughs> but uh especially him he's gonna have mosquito bites all over his back you, so. think, I, you think you're itching right now at least you're able to swat them yeah i have to live with it there's dog face here Dog face, uh, I was told you haunt this place. I heard you chase people out of here. If you're here right now, please come up to my device and touch it. 
Show yourself. People people claim when they come out here, they claim to hear growls and like a like a growl or a bark or a dog. So far we have heard no dogs, but we have heard a lot of bullfrogs or some sort of frog out here making some crazy noise that almost sounds like a dog barking slash, you know, growling. So far that's why we're hearing right now there's a lot of frogs out here making some noises that could potentially fake people into believing that there's some sort of dog out here. I'm not saying that they're lying. I mean, they might have caught some sort of uh, growl or something like that on video or audio, but uh, right now it's just frogs. They're everywhere. Literally, we were hearing frogs over here. We're hearing frogs over here. What the hell was that? Some sort of bird up in the tree. It's not like a pterodactyl or something. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> They're so high. The hell was that? I have no idea. Did you guys hear that? That's loud, whatever that was. It sounded like a door shutting. You didn't hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. I don't know what direction it came from. It sounded like it came from over here. What? You say that again. Can you tell us to leave? Pretty sure you said leave. What was that? You gotta speak clearly if he wants to hear you. Pretty that is the clearest high I've ever I've ever heard. Pretty of. sure we heard a high or find or hide. I'm I'm pretty sure it's either high or hide, but we'll have to go back and listen to that. So we are getting something now. <laughs> what? Come on, we're not getting the answers now. I can't really tell if you said hi or bye or what. But if you can say one more thing that's clear and we and we can understand you, we'll leave. Is there anyone here right now? Can you say I'm here? Let us know if you're here. What? Do you have anything else you want to tell us before we go? Now's the time to say it. Yeah? Oh, I was like barely moving that. I don't think it, I don't think I really jerked it that hard for it to go off like that. If you have something you want to tell us, just go ahead and say it. We're about to leave. I know you said yeah a second ago. I heard that cl clear as day. Pretty sure something is out here. Some sort of entity or spirit is here that's wanting to speak with us. If you have one more thing to say, uh, now it's time to do so. So go ahead and say it. Said hi. You said hi. That one was a high, real low. We should have turned up. Yeah, did you say hi? We're about to leave. So I am actually going to be putting the spear box away and this other device back in its case. We're going to start slowly walking off the bridge. If you have one last thing to say, Say it before we leave, okay? Here we go. I thought I said wait.
All right, so guys, this is Dog Face Bridge. And uh, I could say for sure, being there's no power lines or any kind of electricity around here, that uh, there's definitely a presence of some sort from the from the evidence we've gotten so far. I'm not really sure exactly what all they said on the spirit box, but we'll have to go back and check it out. This probably would be a really spooky place to be at, especially when the sun's not out, you know, when it's nighttime. From what I can see with all the, the way it's, the way it's just like covered in weeds and everything else, it's probably really easy to trip over something and hurt yourself. So if you guys could decide to come out here, be careful, make sure you wear long sleeves, bug spray, and pants. Watch your step and see if you guys can catch something out here. But uh, from what we caught, it seemed like uh, we've got some sort of activity. And I don't know what you think, Kevin, but you can go and uh, let them know what you think. Here at the bridge, which is pretty cool, you know, like the whole, it actually, we actually got a really clear from what I thought that said, what said hello or help. But I personally, I think it says hi or hello, so forth. And of course the frogs are pretty cool. But other than that, bugs, make sure you wear your bug spray. Make sure you wear your pants. And there's a lot of spiders on the bridge. Just want to you know, throw that out there. I'm going to give it back to Ghoulie so he can end this one. I'm actually really shocked to see that there is actually still a bridge here. And I think what happened, people type in dog face bridge and they try to go to the other side, the north side of the river on the other river, not this one. And it's just straight north of here. And there's just concrete slabs from where a bridge used to be. So guys, if you're looking for this bridge, I will post the uh, GPS location below. Uh, but yeah, just be careful coming out here. The bridge is still here. You can walk across it. Just, I wouldn't suggest walking all the way across it because some beams, like metal beams, I think on the far side, you just gotta be careful walking through there and uh, make sure you don't fall through. The conclusion of Dog Face Bridge, I really do think there's something here. I'm not saying that it's extremely scary haunted, but there is something going on at this location. So if you guys, if you decide to come out here, just uh, be safe and have fun. Billy gang, thank you guys for coming in and watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button. Don't forget to share it. Don't forget to comment, become a top fan today. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let's say the next episode. Peace out, Gooly gang.